is what we drinking on tonight tonight today still daytime i'm used to waking up at night what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel so i'm over here with the homie hector and um we got ourselves an ek with a clutch slave cylinder that fully fully depresses but the clutch doesn't do jack and this is a new um amazon clutch that was just installed and it doesn't work at all so i'm gonna help the homie pull out the transmission we're gonna get that dropped really quick we already got the car up on jack stands got the wheels off got the axle nuts broken we're gonna pop out the axles undo the mounts drop the tranny and we're gonna see what's going on in there because as you can see that slave cylinder is moving but the damn clutch is not engaging or disengaging at all it's like we don't have any clutch so let's see what's up y'all y'all already know how we tear apart eks we've done it to compas a few times it's pretty simple we got a couple extra things that the ef does not have but other than that it's pretty much straightforward let's get going guys check that out y'all recognize this oh boy baby happens to the fat boys huh <laughs> god damn baby <laughs> all right y'all so um i haven't really been recording too much for y'all kind of just been getting this done as you can see we got the tranny out the ebay clutch is probably not the problem i think the clutch fork is the problem if y'all remember this happened to me and compa this happened to his ek transmission his stock ek fork also did this exact thing when he was running a high pressure clutch so um stage two for the win stage two amazon clutch did not did not do very well in this so now we're gonna have to figure this out i have welded this in the past but as you guys saw that weld held up for like two days so i don't even think that's worth it shit we'll see what happens So we're back. Um, we found the problem. The problem is that we have an Alcompa clutch fork. Same exact issue, right? We already did that before. But luckily, I found this in the shed at my mom's house. Um, if you guys don't know, I didn't know. Apparently, all 92 to 05, including the D17, including the EM2, apparently all those manual transmissions use the same hydraulic cl clutch fork. So if you have a D-series from 92 to 05, it's the same clutch fork. This, if you guys do not know, is from my D17, from my EM2. My first car, first, was an EM2, and I manual swapped it. This is the clutch fork that I was running when I was manual. If you guys also don't know, the EM2 blew up like three times, and I'm pretty much done with it at this point. I don't plan to ever put a D17 back in, so this clutch fork is going into the EK. Let's go. Just confirming, P20. P20. Let's go. This one does have a little um, square right here. I'm not, I'm pretty sure that's just for the EM2's um, clutch fork spring, but I don't think that's gonna affect us in any way. It's literally the same part number. So yeah, now we just gotta get this thrown back together.
Yeah, it still feels weird. Hit it again, one more time. I wanna see it from down here. All right, that shit feels way better. What? Feels kind of funny, but yeah, it feels way better. See that gap? Yeah, it probably just needs to be bled, but yeah, that feels way better. Hell yeah. Hey guys, it's getting late, it's getting dark, but EK's finished. We ended up throwing a D17 clutch fork inside of this Y7 tranny, this D16 Y7 EK tranny. And um, yeah, that worked. I know y'all can't see anything, but y'all already know what an EK looks like. That's pretty much just a vlog for the day. We're gonna go test drive it, see what's up. And um, for the most part, that's it, mission accomplished successful day ek's back on the road i know you guys don't know hector of team hood rat but without wreck i don't know i think we might see some more team hood rat a little more often yeah. that's gonna wrap it up test drive see you guys later if you enjoyed this like and subscribe um that's all i got to say later <laughs>